I'm so tired. <laughs> So all over LA, I kept seeing these artworks on utility boxes and I was thinking, how do I get my artwork up there? So I did a little research and I got the approval from the city and got my own. So basically, I was so beyond excited that I got approved because it did take a couple months. But when I got the utility box, I was a little bit discouraged just because of the maintenance on it and it was just bad. But Glad that I had my dad to help me out to scrape off the parts that just were just coming off already. And then um, I just ended up spray painting it white so that way I can get my color in. And I was just super beyond excited to start on this project. I have to go back tomorrow so I can draw on it. Um, I don't know how I got paint on my face. And it just did my nose. I do have to admit, I was really nervous. The reason being is because, well, one, I've never done a utility box before. And also because I was thinking, how am I going to get my artwork up there? But I was just like, okay, don't second guess it. Just go for it. You know, like, whatever happens, happens. Like, I don't know and so I just got a white Posca marker and I just started doodling and then I started coloring it in because I wanted the colors to pop and then when I was doing this I was like man like this is gonna take me forever so I grabbed my sister and a couple friends the first Saturday and I was like just help me color it in and that's it and then the rest I'll do it by myself so I'm very very thankful for them helping me out because this helped me, helped me jump start and get this a lot faster but um i truly appreciate them and it helped out and just because i was nervous too to be by myself out there but once they were hanging out with me and it seemed like a great safe area then i was like okay i can totally do this alone like i have no issues being out here so a lot of the times i went back and forth between acrylic paint and posca markers and I wasn't sure about the Posca markers because I wasn't sure if it was going to catch on to the color, like if it was bright enough. But no, I didn't have any issues. It was actually, it actually worked pretty well with both of them. times I did change my designs just because I felt like I was doing too much of that same design so I'll just go back and repaint it and just change it to something different to do um so probably have to go back yeah i'm gonna go well obviously i have to go back but i'm gonna go back what else 
honestly this is such a great experience i didn't film too much just because majority of the time i am by myself um it was just the first two times that i wasn't but even then it was just for like a few hours but the rest of the time i was by myself i did have my family a little bit over there and my grandma came to visit but um it's so neat i absolutely love it it's um such a great experience because so many people would come by and talk to me and I got to know different people and I just love LA. People are so nice. Um, I got to meet the artist as well. It's just, it's fun. I mean, even though I pulled like 13 hours today, I'm exhausted. But you know what? I can totally see myself doing this more often. I love it. I love it so much. Like. I don't even care that my body hurts. I don't even care that I have to go wake up tomorrow early in the morning to go to work. It's just, it's what I love to do, so yeah. Just have fun. Part of the contract from the city is you have to stencil out um, City of LA and then also www.lacity.org or I, something like that. It's on the other side. But um, I didn't have like smaller stencils, so I was kind of just winging it and hopefully hoping that everything would fit. But um, my name obviously didn't fit, so I basically just had to do it myself and. Um, it's not the greatest like I'm not the greatest as like when it comes to painting you know letters but um, I did try my best so this is the best that I can do right here I am beyond grateful for my father because he helped me out on stenciling this out I don't use stencils so that was the very first time my dad helped me out with stenciling and he was basically the one that helped me prep it in the beginning and um, honestly I just appreciate my parents so much more and they just helped me out a little bit on this and I am totally grateful for how it came out too because I was so nervous how this was going to come out and I was just like what if it's terrible what if people hate it what if I hate it but you know what it was such it just it was just an amazing feeling just to be finished and I'm very very proud of this piece and a lot of people love this and I'm so grateful for the people that came up to me and told me how much they love this and what a great artwork this was and honestly it's just I was even amazed sometimes I underestimate myself and I did at this point and you know what you shouldn't underestimate yourself always believe in yourself if anyone comes across this video I will have the address down below in the description of where this utility box is at and if you do come across this box please tag me on Instagram I will have it down below. I would more than 
appreciate if you do and I'll totally post you on my story but I just wanted to share this experience with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this and love this so much like I did